What up, sports fans? Welcome back to Clint City, baby. And it is a special edition of Hoppers Hip Tips. My name's Hip Hopper, and it is the uh, fr special release day Friday edition of Hoppers Hip Tips, baby. And we got four, count them, four new paradoxes on the way, and that's exciting. Uh, we're going to check them out. We're going to break them down. And uh, I'm, I'm going to buy two packs today, I think. Uh, hopefully... The plan is, I'm going to pull three, I'm going to pull three new bloods, because if I can pull three new bloods, or three paradoxes, then I can start playing with these suckers, because I, I, I have D'Agostini legend, right, to make up the fourth. So we'll see, that's the plan, and uh, we'll see if that works out for us. But who knows, you know, I may have to end up buying one or something to supplement, but we'll see. Hopefully the plan works out. But let's gonna go on over to iClint to see what they got going on. So here we are, and uh, yeah, let's check these, check out the new Bloods, baby. Anyway, um, okay, awesome. So first of all, I guess we have Raymac here, and she's looking all sexified with her friggin' six-arm awesomeness here. I guess she's Shiva, right? Um, or some, some type of Shiva, anyway. So, um... So she gets, so no semi-evos yet, um, that's pretty cool, and so she's a four star, let's check this out, oh wow, cool, alright, so she's a four star, um, go back, uh, how do we go back, go back, there we go, alright, she's a four star, uh, eight four, uh, semi-decent stats, um, I mean, those are like three-star stats on a normal card, but, of course, she has her asymmetry bonus, so she's like an 8-7 with her bonus, and she has symmetry plus one pills per damage. So, um, holy crap, really? Plus one pills per damage. Okay, that's crazy. So, so if she has symmetry, she can get four pills back if she wins on a win. That's pretty sweet. Plus four pills, 8-4 with plus four pills, basically. Um, and obviously, if she doesn't have symmetry, then she's just a straight up 8-7, which, you know, that's that can still get it done, you know what I'm saying? Uh, that's nice. So yeah, that's a pretty cool card, I like it. Uh, very cool. And uh, yeah, what, what more to say? I mean, when she, when she has her symmetry bonus, she can friggin' go off on you, you know what I mean? Because um, getting plus four pills back is pretty sweet. She can overpill like a mother, you know what I'm saying, uh, so that's pretty cool, nice four star, she's a con she's the common of the bunch, um, so let's go back here and check out these other suckers, come on, alright, there we go, so next up, we got Zerpies, oh my gosh, Zerpies, sounds like herpes, anyway, uh, Zerpies is the big old rare five star of the bunch here, um, so they have Anagoni, who's the uh, who's an uncommon um, five star, and now they have friggin' Xerpes. So I guess he's supposed to be Xerxes or something. Um, so he starts out as a six five three star, then he becomes a seven five four star, and then uh, lastly he becomes uh, his eight five um, awesome self. So let's see. So he's an 8-5 with um, attack plus 9 as his ability. Just a straight up attack plus 9. So that's kind of interesting. Um, let's check him out here. Yeah. So uh, so basically, he's so with his, with his bonus, he's a friggin' straight up 8-8. Eight, eight, okay? Which is, you know, 8-8 eight, eight is kind of the standard uh, badass whatever, right? DJ Core is an 8-8. Eight, eight. Cortez is an 8-8. Uh, so yeah, nice solid stats for a 5-star. And uh, and uh, he gets that, he gets attack plus 9, which is sweet. So um, so it means he avoids, he avoids draws with other 8-powered cards. And uh, um, yeah, just kind of a straight up beat stick. Nothing really different there. Um, if he gets SOA'd, um, you know, he's still he's still an eight eight, right? He doesn't 
he doesn't really need that attack plus nine, but it's just it's nice um, to help him get through there. And of course, um, of course, as an eight eight with fury, he's a, he's an eight ten, so he, he's not gonna he doesn't have the one hit KO potential that Anagoni has, but still a nice card for Showa. Um, okay, so cool. So I like that. So we've so we've hit the the common and the rare now, and now I guess we have do we have two? Yeah, we have two uncommons this week. So we got uh, Leona Parte here. Um, Leona Parte is obviously Bonaparte, right? Um, so he's a three star, and uh, come on, come on, there we go. Um, so he's a three star again. No semi Evo here, but. Uh, He's got some pretty sweet stats, friggin' 9-3, uh, with no ability. Interesting, no ability. So, um, is that good? I don't know. No ability is really never a good thing. Um, it's always good to have an ability. But, you know, obviously, he doesn't suffer quite as much against SOA, but... Um, I was talking. I was talking in the forums the other day about how uh, I mean, against SOA clans, they can basically all stop you. If they play the card opposite your card, um, so symmetrical, I guess, to your card, right? Then they kill your sim your symmetry ability or your non-symmetry ability, whatever. They kill your ability, and uh, they, of course, kill your bonus as well. So, kind of, kind of scary. So maybe he's he's supposed to be SOA resistant, but I don't know. Um, but yeah, with his with his bonus, he's a nine six, and that's friggin' sweet. That's like Sylvia Legend territory. Only she, he doesn't backlash you. You know what I mean? So that's pretty cool. Obviously, without his without his bonus, he's a nine three, which you know it isn't it isn't the greatest. But I mean, you know, people still play like. Uh, Dr. Van Wessel Legend, for example, you know, and he's a nine three, so decent, so decent, just kind of standard card here, uh, Leona part, and what do we got? Last, last and final, we have An Anita, Aneta, all right, Anita, and she's the she's the two star of the bunch. So we got we got a five four three two again. Uh, which is pretty standard. And uh, let's see, Anita is a 6-3 two-star, so nice hefty damage, uh, just like Galahad. Um, or no, he, he she has more damage than Galahad, so she's like, with her bonus, she's a friggin' 6-6 six, six, two-star. That's nice. Uh, that's very nice. And uh, she has courage, minus two opponent power and damage, min two. So she's a, she's a courage card, um, that's kind of interesting for this, for this, um, she's the first conditional ability card for Paradox. And so obviously, you know, if you toss her with Courage, well, no, uh, what's his name? Um, Elios, Elios has Courage as well, doesn't he? So maybe this is going to be, maybe this is uh, going to be their, their deal. Maybe they're going to have um, a lot of Courage cards in this clan. Um. Obviously, if you toss her first with courage, then um, you know, then your opponent can say, "Well, you know, your opponent can basically take her bonus away, right?" So, um, so she's going to have that nice. Um, well, it's I guess it, it's it's both. It's power and damage mod. So like, so she reduces your opponent's power by two and their damage by two. Um, you know, so you can't, so you can't, um, they, you know, they can deny her her ability, but she still gets to DR them. So that's, that's a pretty decent ability, honestly. Um, and of course, you know, you can use her for offense as well that way. So, uh, you know, you're only going to get three damage in, but, you know, that that's decent, especially for a, for a two star. So nice ability there. Um. I don't know if you'd want to play her and Elios together, though. You know, that's that's something you got to think about. But anyway, there we go. Let's check her out. Woo. All right. Okay. So now, uh, those are the cards. 
and let's go um, let's go check out their um, let's go check out their missions, shall we? So here we are on the website, and uh, let's see. So I wonder if they're going to be uh, the mission, the missions like they were last week, where it was just, oops, why are we in game modes? It's not where I want to be. Game missions. Where are you? There you are. Okay. So, um... So the secret code, he never conquered, okay. So he never conquered uh, Poldachi Golgavin. Uh, win 30 rounds with Leon, uh, Leonapart. So, um, yeah, win 30 rounds. I mean, he's a nine-powered card, so, you know, you shouldn't have too many, too much trouble winning rounds with him. Um, especially if, if he's only a, th you know, if they take away his bonus, he's only a 9-3, a they'll probably just let him through most of the time. Um, goddess of Wisdom? No. Goddess of Madness. Uh, block 40 damage with Anita. So, okay. That's cool. Um, again, you just, you throw her out there with courage, right? And she's going to DR. So, um, it's a little predictable, but, you know, you should be able to block 40 damage with that pretty easily. Um, what else we got here? Vishnu would be proud. Gain 28 pills with Ramak. So, uh, again, um, she's going to need her symmetry bonus to do that, or her symmetry ability, I should say, um, to gain 28 pills. So that's like, what is that? It's like eight rounds with her, basically. Um, and from my experience, that'll take a while because um, it's really difficult to get your symmetry abilities generally. Um, to go off with paradox, so keep that in mind. That's gonna that's gonna take you a little while, baby. Anyway, thanks to him, you can freely enter the academy. Inflict three hundred damage with friggin' zerpies. Um, zerpies. That's hilarious. Anyway, inflict three hundred damage with zerpies again. Uh, he's a friggin' eight eight with his uh, when he has his bonus. Uh, even when he doesn't have his bonus, he's he's a he's an eight five, right? So, um, you know, that shouldn't be too difficult to inflict 300 damage with him. And I guess, is that the last one? Yeah, that, that's it. That's friggin' it. So those are the missions. Uh, again, they, they're, they're card-specific again this week, so you have to have those cards in order to do the missions. I don't love that, but it's the way it is, you know what I mean? So, we're back on the app for uh, some shop action, baby. Let's do this. Um, so we want two of these bad boys. And we're going to buy them. And, oh, actually, hold on a sec. Did I... Oh, I did. I, I turned on the auto thing, didn't I? Can I turn that off? I don't know if I can or not. What else? Here we go. Let's see what we get, baby. Again. Oh, yeah, I didn't turn it on. Good. Okay. So we want, th we're, we're, we're looking for three Paradox today. So let's see what we get here. Boom. All right, first off, uh, we got Miss uh, Mrs. Spool. Eh, okay. We already had her, um, but nice card nonetheless. Um, what do we got here? Schaefer Ixt. Meh. Uh, we got Michiui. We already have Michiui. Um, we got a friggin' another Lorenzald. Holy crap, I've drawn a Lorenzald like... Um, I drew one on the release, and then I've drawn one every every other every release since then. Crazy. All right, so we got a Mrs. Spool and a Lorenzal. I mean, that's not horrible, but uh, you yeah, know, it could be better when we're hunting for for uh, paradox. Anyway, okay, there we go. We got a Raymac, so that's kind of cool. Sweet. How you doing? Bye bye. Um, so she's uh, she's the she's the common of the bunch. So we got a Bichente. We already have Bichente. But that's cool. We've gotten three rares so far. Oh, we got Usman. Sweet. All right. I like that. I hate fighting him, but uh, now that I have one, maybe it'll be fun uh, using him. And uh, what else we got? We got two left, so I don't think we're going to get three Paradoxes today, unfortunately. Uh, we got Hornet and uh, what else? Oh, we got XU91. Oh, sweet. All right. So we're getting some decent cards. But uh, we only got one Paradox, so 
Ugh, I guess I gotta sell her and uh, wait till next week. Well, I don't know. Maybe I'll. No, I'm not even gonna do her mission. I don't think. I don't think I am. Uh, probably gonna sell her, and then uh, next week I'm gonna start. Um, I'm gonna start purchasing the original four. I'm gonna start purchasing those with Clint's. I'm gonna start stocking up on them because that's what I do. So uh, after. I wait a couple of releases and then I and then I start buying the original release and then I start buying the next release, the release after that, and so on and so forth. So that's kind of how I work it. Um, and uh, yeah, we'll see how it goes. But we did get we did pull we did get double rares on both of our packs. So decent, right? I like it. Anyway, guys, uh, thanks so much for joining me today for Hop is Hip Tips Special Edition, and I hope. I hope you pulled some sweet packs yourselves, and uh, if you did, let me know in the comments, baby. And so, uh, please like, subscribe, leave a comment, and uh, share the video with your friends, family, guildmates, and loved ones, and bring them back here a little later today for some hot, steamy EFC action, baby, because I'll be back. Yeah, yeah.